Australia has certainly suffered because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but not nearly as badly as some other countries. And for that, we thank God, but we also congratulate the health authorities and governments for their prompt actions. Australian people too have shown a solidarity and a good sense and the generosity and kindness that really are needed in a time like this. As the church, we've done our bit, suspending public worship and closing our churches, which was a big decision. It's been a real deprivation for many as we hungered for the time when we could again gather around the altar, which becomes the table of the feast of the Lord, the feast of God's family. Thankfully now we seem to be moving in the right direction, but it is step by step on a long and complex journey where there's no room for complacency. It's going to take a sense of discipline and solidarity from all of us to respect the requirements, but we've been equal to every task so far on the journey. Beyond all this, the church will never quite be the same again. But with an easing of restrictions, we are taking steps towards gathering the entire community of faith in the Archdiocese together. All that remains to be said is, welcome back. Even when our doors were closed, our hearts were still open. The heart of the church is the heart of Christ, and his heart is never closed. It's always wide open. So, as one of God's beloved family, I say to each of you and all of you, let's come together once again, uh, rejoicing in the gift of each other and rejoicing in the feast that God provides for his family at the table around which we gather. So come and be with us.